The 45-day legislative session is underway. This isn't going to be business as usual, representatives. Some of you may like it. Some of you may hate it. And that's okay. I'm Ben Winslow on Utah's Capitol Hill. With the session underway, we have a new House Speaker. We got a glimpse at new priorities for the legislature. The people of Utah will come first. In his opening day remarks, the Speaker asked representatives to hold up signs explaining why they're here and why they're serving in public office. Representative Matthews' community. As he outlined his priorities for the House of Representatives, the Speaker acknowledged trust in government is low. We are committed to protecting our state's natural resources for future generations while also supporting responsible and reasonable energy and resource development. House and Senate Democrats acknowledge differences in opinion. My colleagues at times find it hard to say climate change exists, but it's real. And we see that right now with the Great Salt Lake. In the Senate, energy policy was also a top priority. The legislature and our teachers are and have always been committed to provide an excellent education for students in Utah. But the Senate president also boosted a new idea for public education, more money. We want to make sure really that a high quality teacher in the, in the best places where they can have the most impact, by the time they reach their mid-career, they should start knowing that this is a $100,000 career. In the Capitol Rotunda, the Salt Lake City Teachers Union rallied for more money. I mean, we definitely support higher salaries for teachers, um, especially, you know, first-year teachers. It's hard to attract and retain really quality educators, um, but we do a great job doing it with what we have. Um, I am concerned about bonuses for high-performing teachers because I'm just curious how that's going to be measured. The House got to work immediately, passing a bill to enhance penalties for hoax threats at schools. You threaten to kill kids. There's got to be a relevant consequence. Lawmakers here on Capitol Hill wasting no time wading into controversial measures. Bills targeting diversity, equity, and inclusion in higher education and in government generally could be heard in a committee. As soon as Wednesday, Governor Spencer Cox will address the people of Utah in his annual State of the State address. That's scheduled for Thursday night. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.